Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Torokosaga Station right now, close to Arashiyama, and we're ready to take the highlight of the day. Here we are, ready to take the sightseeing train, which they call it a romantic train, which is actually a sightseeing train that travels along the mountainside, which can go through a lot of different areas, which you can basically take photos of the, uh, of the mountain. So yeah, it's very, very cool. We're going to be taking full journey, of course, bound for Kameoka. And at Kameoka, there will be JR. We'll be taking JR back. But first, we'll take this over. Let's do it. All right, so here we are on the platform. Next to us is literally the JR station. And we walk very luckily. We got first car because this is actually reserved seats. So they choose, they choose the seats for you. And we got car number one, so that's why let's go ahead and walk all the way down there. Wait for our train. It should be like a steam engine. I don't know whether that's true or not, but let's do it. These are of the normal cars because I don't really want to pay for extra. Plus, if you actually pay for extra, you, have, you can have car number five, which is actually having no windows, <laughs> which is going to be cold. So that's why we don't want it. Let's line up here for car number one. Here's our train. You have to pay for your ticket beforehand. If not, you can't. You cannot get a seat. And there's car five with no windows. And there's all of the random other cars for us to take with windows. Here we are, we're on car one here. Just the first car. Let's wait for them to get out and we'll get on. Car number one will be all the way at the back. Unfortunate it is backwards, but that's fine. Because we can't choose our seats. This is basically the seat that you have to take, so... No, I don't think that we will get seats for this one. I mean, for sure, I think we'll have people taking this one, so that's why we just have to bear it the backwards, unfortunately. And this is this train is really don't really care, so that's why there's the JR. Oh my gosh, they bind two different sets like that. What the hell? It's so weird. That's the Kyoto direction. Take three minutes to the next station at Kyoto. I mean, not Kyoto. Toroko Arashiyama Station Which we're actually already using the main track with the JR line But JR line is 20 minutes per train So that's why it doesn't even matter And here's the famous bamboo forest of Arashiyama. 
I made it to the next station. We need to split off because the main track is for the JR line. That's a lot of people. Oh my gosh, that's so many people. So we took a while to board off the passengers, now we should be departing. Because the platform is not long for not long enough for all five cars. So the first two cars are outside of the station for car three. One to three passengers, they just boarded car three to walk down. Service. Special service to stop here to let you guys see the things. That's the Arashiyama hot springs. Oh man, if you actually get that front seat over there, that's so good. Oh. Time this will be filled with cherry blossoms, which is going to be very beautiful. So this is the last service of the day towards Kameoka, 4 o'clock here, 4.02 service. And then there is actually for the plan for you actually to do this section is to take this over to Kameoka and then actually take the boat, which is actually just a small little canoe thing, canoe boat, 
to roll down the whole river for two hours. But that's way, way too slow, so that's why it's so cold. We're not gonna do that. Now this is one hour per train. You need to book your ticket in on advance. And that's it for this section. We will go back into the tunnel. So when we go back into the tunnel, we just sit down. We're not gonna go too far. Crossing the bridge. And here's the other side for the views. This is basically for views, so that's why you will see all these this time for this video. And there goes the horn and back into the tunnel. Later on, we'll take the JR, which will not pass through all these. So that's why you won't see any of these for the JR. But I will film the JR video as well. And out! Let's see the views on this side this time here we are and another boat down there whenever a boat just pass by they just go ahead and horn so and another one and here is the middle stop which no one will use this this is the Hozukyo station, which no one will use this. So for sure no one will use this. You can't get off here, but no point. Next stop is the terminus. But they still need to stop. So, and the door that did open there, but we're leaving right now. Next is Kameoka Terminus. Ooh, now I don't know what engine is this. I think it's diesel. I don't think it's actually electric for this, considering there are literally no electric cables here. Well, damn. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Of the river down there. That's more like a, uh, it's more like a uh, kayaking, isn't it? You see the uh, waves, pretty crazy. Yeah, it's more like a kayak thing down there. It's not even actually just canoeing or something. <laughs> Oh 
my gosh. And up, rip. That's like the best part of the views, and then they just cut it with a tunnel. And once again, heading back outside. Here we are. If it's snowing, it's gonna be even cooler. But unfortunately, it's not snowing today. And it's not really snowing the, this time of the year, unfortunately. Oh, that's the tracks for Sagano Line, which is for JR. Over there. That's gonna be a cool part when we go through it later on. Now I'm listening to the Japanese uh, talk in the background by the driver here, so... Honestly, I know it is backwards, but backwards is actually even better because you can see the views back there now instead of actually seeing like literally nothing. Oh, unfortunate. Oh. The views are not even done yet and they just cut it in the tunnel. Here we are. Unfortunately, there is a lot of deforestation, deforestation up there, which is really unfortunate for the bamboos and stuff. Wow. Uh, now, someone says probably may, mainly, probably maybe due to typhoon and cyclones, but damn, that's unfortunate. Well, damn. Huh. For sure, there's a diesel train. There's no way that this is not a diesel train. Now, the driver is trying his best to do the English talk as well, but his English sucks, so that's why. Continue with the views. It is so pretty. So clear the water, you can even see the things at the bottom. Now according to the uh, according to Google Maps it takes like 22 to 25 minutes for the whole journey so it should be done soon. Which this thing I don't remember how expensive it is. We booked online so
And there's the Sagano Line JR track. Back now with more of these bridges. Oh man, later on when we pass through this, it's gonna be so awesome. With the uh, with the uh, JR later on. Now Kameoka can Kameoka is mostly actually can be the terminus for some of the local services for the line of JR. So. Later on, we might be taking a uh, service starting train at Kameoka. But there are some longer services that go past Kameoka, so... But it's basically the same line that we did before inside Kyoto. Sagano San In line, that's the same line, it just goes all the way, so that's why. Here we are having the line again. Almost arriving at Kameoka Terminus. It's very cold in here, but <laughs> no, definitely less than five degrees in here. Five degrees Celsius, definitely less than that. So, but we don't know about the other ones. It's definitely like a fridge right now, for sure. Now, there is one more train, there is one more service going back. This is the train that will be going backwards. So that's the last service going backwards. Going back with the same thing, back to, uh, I don't know whether it's Arashiyama or our stop, which is the Saga Toroko. Toroko Saga Station, or is it the Toroko Arashiyama Station? But oh, there's the sunset over there. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, that's kind of impossible to film it though. There you guys have it. There's the sunset here in Japan, sunset starting at 4.30 and then it will be basically pitch black at 5.15 to 5.20. Oh, this, this is so pretty. And there goes the driver singing now, what the hell. <laughs> Uh, honestly speaking, that's not bad singing right there. <laughs> Made it! Here we are, arriving. Oh my gosh, there's so many people waiting the other service. <laughs> there it is. Honestly, not bad singing there. They're, def they're definitely worse singing than that, but... Here we are at the terminus. It's getting off time. Ooh, it is high floor, so here we are at the train. I do actually want to take a shot at the front of the train, but at least we'll take it at the back first. 
everyone is here, so hang on. Let's stay right here. <laughs> there you guys have it. Romantic train, Sagano in Japanese or kanji over there. Oops. Let's do the shot and record it there. Literal countryside here, so cold. But here we are at the station. Very cool. Now we need to get out and hopefully find the JR, take JR station now. Very fun journey, really enjoyed it with all the views. Although it's so cold, but that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on the videos up top and I'll see you guys next time.